the number one idea that holds us back when we are pursuing something that we really want to do, something we really care about, is that the people that are ahead of us, they must have something that I don't have. They must have been born with some talent, some ability that is out of my reach. Well, that is a lie, and that lie is holding you back. And today, I'm gonna tell you how I got from this painting to this painting. And from this painting to this painting, with no art school, with no talent when I was starting out, with nothing. And the thing is, you can do exactly the same thing. First of all, let's talk about talent versus hard work. Now, it's not to say that talent doesn't play into this at all, but it is to say that hard work is underrated. That trying really hard at something and coming back over and over and over again and understanding that deep focus and work and dedication can cover so much ground. I'm not saying talent is a complete myth, but I think it's a smaller part of the equation than we want to think. It's almost an excuse to let us off the hook and say, well, they have something that I don't have, so I'm not gonna go all in on painting. I'm not gonna go all in on learning. I'm not gonna push myself to, to reach my full potential because what's the point? I don't have the talent that they have. Well, that's not the way to think. That's not the approach that we wanna have. We wanna get rid of that thought. And I want you to think about this quote by Michelangelo. If people knew how hard I had to work to gain my mastery, it would not seem so wonderful at all. Think about that. One of the greatest artists and sculptors in human history is saying that he had to work so hard to get where he is. He didn't say that I've been drawing and painting since I was a kid and I just kind of, you know, became aware of this and just knew how to do this. No, he's not saying that at all. He's saying that if people knew how much hard work it took. He didn't say talent, he said hard work. Okay, now I wanna get into the three things that helped me advance as an artist with no art school and no talent. The first thing is have a practice schedule. When I was first learning to paint, I was working a full-time job. I had recently become a father and I had to dedicate myself to learning and practicing in between a completely full life. The only way I was able to do this was by developing a practice schedule. Now, whether that's 10 minutes, whether it's a half an hour, whether it's an hour a day, find the time that you can give to it and be consistent. And one way to do this is to have a practice calendar. Every day I would practice, I would mark a day off on the calendar. So if I was feeling discouraged, if I wasn't seeing as much progress in my work, I could look at this calendar that I had hung up on the wall and I could say, I am on the path. I'm dedicated to learning and I can see all the times that I chose to paint versus something else. I can look at that calendar and I can know that I am dedicated to the process and I am practicing and showing up. Another side note to this is try to have all of your supplies and things ready to go. You might not have a dedicated art space at first but try to have as much of your supplies ready to go, get those barriers out of the way, so when you do have that time to paint, you can show up, your things are ready, things are in order, and you're ready to go. Another helpful thing is when you have some time during the day, maybe you're at work, when you're waiting to pick up your kids, whatever the situation may be, instead of scrolling on social media, scroll through your pictures and find out what you're gonna paint. I've wasted so much time in my practice time trying to decide what to paint. So if you can do all this beforehand and you have a scheduled time when you're gonna show up to paint, you are way more likely to show up and get something done. The other thing I wanna say is paint small and paint often. In watercolor especially, the more repetitions that you can get, the more progress that you're going to make. And that is key. Don't fall in love with the idea of completing a large finished painting each night. The smaller you can paint and the more often that you can paint, the more progress that you're going to make. Now you might see pictures on Instagram, videos on YouTube of fantastic finished paintings, but that's not what you need to focus on, especially early on in your painting. Get as many repetitions as you can, because when you do that, you're becoming more comfortable with timing, with color mixing, 
All of these important skills that you need to continue to develop, they're going to develop faster if you're painting smaller and more often. And the third and final thing is focus on what matters. In my learning, there are some fundamental areas of painting that made the most difference. One of those is values. Values are how light or how dark something is and how those areas relate to each other. And if you can focus on learning values, that's gonna make the light more believable in your painting. That's something that I didn't really understand. I didn't know early on and I would just look at a scene, I would try to paint a scene, but I didn't really understand the fundamental building blocks that would make that painting work. The other is finding connections in your painting. It's very tempting to go around and paint every little detail in the scene and get sucked into those details, those little separate pieces, but you can really start to make some difference in your paintings when you can see the large connected shapes of the scene. In addition to learning how to create a wash, how learning how to mix appropriate colors, practicing your brushwork, if you can think about these very strong fundamentals of values and finding the big shape, the connected shapes of the scene, that's going to make a big difference for you and that's going to speed your learning up. I want you to understand that there has never been a better time to learn as an artist. We have so many resources, even here on YouTube, on other platforms, and it is the golden age of learning. You can take this as far as you're willing to take this. If you can dedicate yourself to learning and understand that every time you show up, you are investing in yourself as a painter. And that is really valuable because those little investments, they add up over time. That's how I was able to go from this painting to this painting, because I was consistently showing up. You may have seen the picture of my failed pile, my stack of paintings that didn't turn out. The higher we can get that stack, the bigger that that stack grows, that means we are making progress. Every artist that you respect and admire and look up to, they've all had the same struggles as you. They've all had to set aside time and work hard and, and try to get better and better. They've all failed so many times along the way. So don't let that negative voice in your head, that voice that says that everyone else has something that I don't, do not let that lie slow you down or hold you back. Nobody can stop you when you are dedicated to hard work and you are showing up consistently in your painting. Well, if you are ready to take the next big step forward, I have a free video lesson that I'm gonna share with you. The seven secrets of fresh and powerful painting. In this video lesson, I talk about how to plan your painting, how to mindfully paint your scene, and most importantly, how to put down your brush before you overwork your painting. Now, when you sign up for this lesson, I send you two things. I send you a pre-painting checklist. Now this is something that you can use before every painting to ensure that you are thinking through these important things before you get started. Now in addition, if you have questions about paints, about paper, about watercolor supplies, I also include my watercolor supplies guide. If you're ready to take your next big step forward as a painter, all you have to do is click on this link to access my free video lesson, The Seven Secrets of Fresh and Powerful Painting. I'll see you there.